we went to London having had someone explain to us the concept of Olympic tourism, um, which is when guys go to the games for the experience, and we hope to avoid that um, in the first week. And we haven't put four years in to go on a holiday, that's for sure. I think we know more or less what to expect when we get there. We know it's a big circus, um, so there's no, going to be no surprises there. We've been to Rio, we've seen the water conditions, so I think we're very prepared in that sort of sense of what, what to expect. Um, but the reality is that the French are the informed crew. They've lost one race in three years, so they are certainly the crew to be, ex if, you, if you were a betting man, for sure. But we have a lot of belief in what we're doing, and maybe it helps having them as, the, without a doubt, they are the favourites. So that takes the, the pressure off and just lets us do our job and, and get on with the, the task at hand. We like to flow below the radar and hopefully come charging. If we look at our build-up into London, we were all very young to a large degree and we were often looking for the standard and looking to... We didn't quite know what was really good and what was good and what was bad. We were still young and we were doing a lot of good stuff, but we didn't always know it. Whereas in this phase, we often know when we're below the standard. Um, it's more in our faces, we know it. We know when we're not good enough, and, but at the same time, some days we leave training and we know that that was world class.